This is Transformers Animated Deluxe Class Swoop. Uh, it's a non-recent figure. Um, I'm doing a review on him because, well, uh, out here in Manila, uh, the Transformers Animated figures have all uh, gone on clearance. Uh, the only one that's left at regular price are the activators and the Jetfire Jetstorm 2-pack, but everyone else is on 50% uh, discount at least here in Manila. Uh, they may be also in clearance in your neck of the woods, but I don't know. Okay, uh, I'm doing a review on this because I've gotten another swoop, as you can see. Um, I, I really like the figure. The first swoop I got, uh, I got it from a hobby shop, and he was a pre-release figure. There was no box, no instructions. I, you know, he was an out-of-package uh, figure. I, uh, I got him because I was very, I, I thought the figure was amazing, and he had not hit uh, uh, retail yet. And I figured, you know, I'd be one of the first guys to have him, so it was pretty cool. So I got him. Uh, then he, then he went on retail, and I, you know, I didn't feel the need to get another one despite the fact that I, he is one of my favorite uh, animated figures but when he went on clearance I decided you know I'm gonna pick him up um, because he's just an awesome figure and I picked him up together with another blur because uh, I wanted another blur so I could display bur uh, blur both in um, alt mode and robot mode so there um, so blur and swoop those are probably the top two f uh, deluxe class figures that I can I, I can recommend uh, a top, a third figure in the top three would probably be Swindle. Or, uh, if you don't like Swindle, you can always go for the other Dinobot, Slag, or Jazz. Um, but pick an Elite Guard. I mean, Elite Guard, Bumblebee, or Sentinel Prime. But almost all of the Deluxe Class figures are pretty awesome. And if they're on 50% off, I recommend getting all of them. But if you have to get a top three, I recommend Blur, Swoop, and uh, Swindle. Maybe Jazz. Okay, uh, let's look at this figure. I haven't done a review on him, and, you know, being one of my favorite figures, I'd said I'd, I'd do one. The bio says, uh, first time I read the bio, because this guy had not, didn't have a box, I found out the box that he is the Dinobot Bombardier. Uh, very happy to destroy Decepticons, dropping his bombs and throwing out his mace. So... Uh, well, it, it does uh, uh, give allusion to to the swoop in G1. He was the bomber uh, of the Dinobots. The only one that could fly, obviously, because he was a Tyrannodon. Yeah, Tyrannodon, because he has these, uh, he has the plume. Uh, the G1 swoop looks something like this. Um, yeah, it's battered and beaten. This actually belonged to my brother when we were young. I never had him. I only had Grimlock. Um, my brother had Swoop and Sludge and Slag. Um, I only had Grimlock. <laughs> anyway, um, I like Swoop. Um, uh, he may look crappy right now because he's old. This is a 20-year-old figure, 25-year-old figure. And um, he... He looked like, uh, the first thing to go on these G1 figures is really the beak. The beak is made of a clear plastic, it's the first to go. Um, it, it's a, uh, back in the day, this was, you, if you had a swoop, you, you were pretty awesome. I mean, you, you were, you were, if you had a Dinobots, people start, you were, you were the, you were the man, you know, as, as they say back then. And, or, and, and um, very few people had Dinobots because they're very expensive back then. And right now, even even up to now, they're very expensive. And they look like cybernetic uh, dinosaurs. They didn't look like Beast Wars. They they look like cybernetic dinosaurs. And Soup was, was a very favorite uh, figure. And, um, you know, he's not much to look at now. But uh, back in the day, this was one of the cream of the crops. Um, yeah, I'm not going to transform him because the hinges are tight and he does, he's missing a beak, so it's going to be pointless. Uh, he doesn't have too much articulation, so I wasn't really uh, fond of this figure, but uh, he was a character favorite of mine back in G1. There have been customs made of this. Frenzy Rumble has made a wonderful custom of the G1 Dinobots. You want to check it out. FrenzyRumble.com uh, Okay, enough of G1. And just to get this thing over and done with, just to get 
uh, the size comparison done in, done with. Uh, I'm gonna put star stream right there. So okay, he's a pretty regular size deluxe class figure. Very lean, lanky, and skinny, but uh, he's right there um, with a regular deluxe figure. He's not small like Slag, but uh, medium sized for deluxe. <clears throat> Let me just get rid of Starscream. Okay, let's have a look at the figure. Uh, figure is just awesome. So many articulation on him. Uh, let me just show this one because this one has, you can see a lot of the details on this figure. It's very good. You can get him in all decent, uh, decent poses. And despite how he looks, he's pretty stable. I mean, there's enough plastic on the, on him to make him very stable and, and set him in good poses. And, and 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 surprisingly, the joints on this one are just are very tight. Um, they are first class quality control. I mean, I have no problems with the joints whatsoever. All the hinge joints, all the ball joints, uh, I never had to put clear nail polish on them. They're very tight. So quality control on this figure is is very good is is just spot on uh you'll get your money's worth so don't worry about oops yeah as soon as i said quality issues okay uh yeah but it's still pretty good hinge joints um so very nice um he's got great colors uh the gray on him is very nice metallic blue metallic periwinkle very nice not the all spark blue and he, he carries a mace and if you've seen in some of the reviews, the mace doesn't fall off because it's got grooves for his fingers. So, you know, it'll stay on. It's just very nice. And on the show, he's very tall. So, uh, but he's clearly off scale with this one. He's about as tall as Grimlock on the show, but uh, on the figure, he's a deluxe class. Very nice. I really like him. I even would suggest you get him more than blur if you can. Let's talk about articulation um, for this figure. Let me just stand him up. Uh, he has a different kind of articulation. Yeah. Um, the head is on a ball joint and on a swivel, a hinge joint at the base. He has a swivel joint right here and a ball joint here. Ball jointed elbows, swivel hands, ball jointed... Uh, oops, sorry. The back just popped off. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, ball jointed uh, hips, uh, double jointed knees, and ball jointed feet. Very nice. Um, it's just an amazing, amazing figure. Okay, and let's do the transformation. Transformation is very simple, just like a regular animated deluxe, um, but it can be tricky if you're not careful. What you want to do is um, pop open the back, okay, spread the wings, okay, and then pop open the chest, fold up the beak, uh, fold the uh, head down, and then just, just like in G1, you can put his head inside his beak, his bird head. Uh, right like that. Um, close the chest. Uh -huh. And then pull back the wings. Okay. Rotate the uh, hips. And rotate the feet. And all that's left is to connect the arms onto the wings. Very simple. Like so. And there you... Oops. Sorry. And just... Um, snap the back part. There is Swoop in Dinobot mode. The beak does open. Very nice. Uh, and what's interesting, as what most other reviewers have shown, the arms and the wings do move uh, in unison. So you can do a flapping motion. He can hold the, his ball. Oh, sorry. His, his mace. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, his ball and chain. That's what I meant. He can hold his mace. Right? Like like so. Um, so you can store the weapon in alt mode. Okay, I want to put him this way. Okay, so there you have it. Transformers Animated Deluxe Class Swoop. Thanks for watching.